Hi, let's understand and calculate the 5G peak data rate in detail. So we understood in the previous slide, this is the formula for the 5G peak data rate or throughput. Now there are different inputs which are actually involved into calculation of the data rate. The first one is the number of carriers. So if we are considering a single carrier, let's assume we are having only one carrier available. So on the basis of that, let's calculate the peak throughput. We are considering the MIMO, which is 8 cross 8 MIMO. So we are considering eight different layers in advanced antenna technique. Then we are using the modulation of 256 QAM. If you remember in the previous slides, we have seen that how many bits per symbol can be transmitted in case of 256 QAM. Then we have a scaling factor of one, which means there is no mismatch between the base band and the RF unit. And then the code rate, which we understood that, okay, if the channel to channel quality index is very good, we probably have one as a code rate, which means that whatever the information is being transmitted, that has been received as it is. So we are considering around 93% of the data is being received properly. Then we are considering the different numerology here. We are considering zero as a numerology, which is 15 kilohertz spacing. And if you remember, if I'll go back to the previous slide of the spectrum where we talked about the different TRBs. So here, if you remember with the 15 kilohertz of subcarrier spacing, we'll have a 50 megahertz with the 50 megahertz uh, carrier spacing, we have the 270 PRBs. So referring to that, we can see here what are the different resource blocks that can be assumed or calculated, considered here. Now, on the basis of the calculation, we have a symbol duration of one. So we are considering the overhead here. We are assuming that there are certain resources which will be used for signaling and guard band. So we are assuming around 10% is being used for that. So now all these different inputs, when we just multiply them, if you see here, I've just multiplied all these, these different inputs together. So this is giving me the value of something 2.4 gigab gigabits per second, which is quite a lot with the frequency range one with 50 megahertz carrier in the downlink. And if we have more number of carriers, if we keep on increasing through carrier aggregation, what kind of uh, the throughput we are getting in that case, in case of dual carrier, we are considering it double as compared to what it was in the single carrier. And if we go maximum 16 carriers in 5G, we know that it can go max maximum up to 16 carriers. So here we can see that how it can reach up to 38 point around four or five Gbps in case of this 50 megahertz uh, different 16 carriers we consider.